What's going on, everybody? Before we get into the player that you're here for, I just wanted to let you know that if you're interested in any other player, I have more than 20 fantasy previews coming your way. So check the playlist down below and they'll all be listed below. Thanks, and let's get into the video. Justin Jefferson comes in as my third player overall, my wide receiver one. Now, Justin Jefferson might be a shock to you at this rank just because consensus wise around the whole fantasy community, he is the number one player. People are bypassing on running backs this year and just doing the safe play and going with Justin Jefferson, which I respect. I have nothing wrong with that pick. I, and I believe the same thing. If you want to go with a player who's just completely foolproof, you know, I'm going to read the stats. In his three NFL seasons, he's had 88 catches, 1,400 yards, seven touchdowns, 108 catches, 1,600 yards, 10 touchdowns, 128 receptions, 1,800 yards, eight touchdowns. If you want a guy who's just foolproof, who seems completely bust proof, has zero downside whatsoever, it's Justin Jefferson. And I can't blame you for taking that pick number one overall. I just believe, and maybe I'm old school, maybe I need to get with the times. I've just been around fantasy football for a long time, going back to when Antonio Brown in either 2014, 2015 was the number one overall pick because we were tired of all these running backs getting hurt and busting. And sure, did Antonio Brown have a really great season? Did Julio Jones, who was also like a top five pick, have a really great season? Yes, they did. But I just think you miss out on great running backs if you do so. And I don't think this year is the year where you're going to be able to find a really great stud RB1 in the second or third round. I'm just, I don't like that middle class of running back. So that's really the only downside I have with taking Justin Jefferson as like the number one overall player. But I have nothing wrong. I have no problems. If you decide to do it, that's up to you. Just good luck finding a running back a little bit later. That's just a potential barrier you're going to run into. But at the end of the day, Justin Jefferson is just going to lead that team in targets. He's going to probably lead the NFL in targets and receptions and touchdowns because he's truthfully awesome. He's arguably the best receiver in the NFL just talent-wise overall. So, like I said for the millionth time, I have no problems with you taking him as the number one overall player. But for me, he falls down two spots, rather three spots, and he's going to be my third player overall for fantasy football rankings in 2023.